Welcome to Onbill TV. This is your anchor, Kikris Anya Solo. First, the headlines. A police officer was killed in Manipur's Moray on Tuesday after he was shot at by suspected militants. The SDPO of Moray, Chingtam Anand Kumar, succumbed to injury after militants ambushed Moray police team at Moray. After several opposition leaders shared screenshots of Apple alerts on their iPhones regarding state-sponsored attacks, Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav on Tuesday said that the government will investigate to get to the bottom of these notifications. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, while reviewing the progress of national highway projects in Nagaland, stated that the state government must formulate a land acquisition policy. The United Committee Manipur President, Joy Chandra Kontungjam, while speaking at Hornbill TV on Tuesday, said that the present situation in Manipur is in good shape and held the present government responsible for the present state of affairs. Now for the news in details. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, while reviewing the progress of national highway projects in Nagaland, stated that the state government must formulate a land acquisition policy. The statement of the minister comes after he was briefed by Nagaland's Deputy Chief Minister Tira Ziliang about the progress made and problems faced by the contractors in implementing projects in the state. He was also made to understand the problem of land issue where land owners demand unreasonably exorbitant compensations so as to allow projects to continue. In a press statement given by TR Ziliang, it was stated that the union minister categorically said that the ministry is sincerely working to build good roads all over the country but if land is not made available, there is little that they can do for development of the roads. Therefore, he requested that the state government should come up with a state law within a couple of months to help resolve the issues or ministry will be compelled to descope the portions where there are land issues and the national highway would be compelled to hand over and convert it to state government. It has also been mentioned that the deputy chief minister is personally taking up the land issue of land compensation in the state and likely to be put up to the cabinet meeting for final decision to correct some anomalies in the bureaucratic decision taken in the past, which has deprived the Nagas from claiming land compensation. Deputy Chief Minister also raised the issue of rockfall within the Pakalapahar stretch on NH29 and MD NHIDCL has assured that they are working on awarding work for protection and safety measures outside the present scope of work on the package. Further, he has urged upon the Union Minister to expedite for completion of all the packages of the four-lane road Dimapu to Kohima as it has been delayed for so many years. A police officer was killed in Manipur's Mori on Tuesday after he was shot at by suspected militants. The SDPO of Moray, Chingtam Anand Kumar, succumbed to injury after militants ambushed Moray police team at Moray Ward No. 7, Eastern Shine School Ground, while the police team were conducting social services and cleanliness drive of the play of the school. According to sources, the fresh cross firing took place at Indo Myanmar border town Moray between state forces and suspected militants since morning around 9 a.m. Anand Kumar was initially badly injured from a sniper bullet which shot him from behind and passed through his stomach. However, he succumbed to his injury at around 10.30 a.m. at Moray Hospital. He is the only MPS officer who died till now since the conflict broke out in the state. Cross-firing between the state forces and the suspected cookie militants is still ongoing. Meanwhile, the body of SDPO Anand have been brought to Imphal Airport through helicopter from 5th Assam Rifle Camp located at KLP Camp near Ina Kondong, Lairambi in Mori. After which, it has been deposited at J JNIM's 
mortuary through an ambulance from the Imphal airport. At the sidelines of Rashtriya Ekta Divas, Program Manipur Chief Nisa N. Biren Singh, while speaking to Hornwheel TV, said he cannot reveal everything to the media about the arrest of a woman with Norwegian passport. However, said she is of Myanmar origin. The Chief Nisa said the incident proved that Myanmar's nationals are entering the Indian territory and some have already been arrested as they are booked under the law. It may be mentioned that a woman named Mia K. Mon, 52, was found walking suspiciously at a market in Manipur's capital, Imphal, on October 23. She was then taken to the foreigner's detention. Sajiwa is being kept there since then, following an order by the Manipur government to the state police chief and the jail superintendent. Uh, about the arrest of this Myanmar, uh, uh, Norwegian Myanmar origin, sir, there is a lot of talk in the media. What is exactly is the case, sir? No, it is under investigation. I cannot reveal everything, but it is a group that Myanmarese people are entering inside the Indian territory and are trying to create unrest in the state of Manipur. Uh, some has already arrested and uh, they have been booked under the law. We complete peace in the state. We should stand for a strong and a united India. We really honored and salute Sadar Palapai Patelji, who united for a strong India, and we have to follow his footprint. The United Committee Manipur President Joy Chandra Kontu Jam, while speaking to Hornbill TV on Tuesday, said the present situation in Manipur is not in good shape and held the present government responsible for the present state of affairs. He said neither the state government nor the central government is doing what is required at this hour. He said the motto of UCM has always been for oneness of all communities residing in the state making comments on some cookie organizations, declaring holiday on Friday. Joy Chandra said such things are happening because of the weakness of the present government. He said the state government should impose heavy penalty to such student organizations, but unfortunately, they are not in position to do so. He said even though the chief secretary notified reprimanding cookie organizations for declaring a holiday or off day on Friday, but it was not followed up with necessary actions. Manipur ka present situation is not the same. We have to see that 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 अलग अलग करने के लिए वो लोग ने मांगता है वो हम लोग ने मना करता है अलग करने से हम लोग नहीं चाहिए हम लोग एक ही साथ रहना चाहिए वही है हमारे यूसीएन का मोटो है हमारे यूसीएन का मोटो तो पीस यूनिटी एंड इंटीग्रिटी है वही हम लोग काम कर दूंगा दूसरा काम नहीं करेगा दूसरा कम्युनिटी ने मांगेगा तो हम लोग मना करेगा वही है हमारे तमो और दूसरा ये आया है कि कुकी कुछ कुकी सात्र संगठनों ने ये बयान किया है कि एवरी फाइव फाइव जो है वो हॉलीडे कर दिया जाएगा उस पर आपका क्या स्टेन है बताएं ये कम से कम पहले भी बताया है क्योंकि अभी हमारे सरकार है ना ये कमजोर है क्योंकि वो लोग कुछ भी नहीं है स्टूडेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने फ्राइडे को होली जो क्यों छुट्टी देगा ये गवर्नमेंट ने ये पेनल्टी देगा हेवी पेनल्टी देगा वो पेनल्टी नहीं देता है सेक्रेटरी ने उसका एक ऑर्डर दिया है वही ऑर्डर की बात में एक्शन टेकन नहीं लिया है वही है तो आपको क्या लगता है सरकार अभी तक विफल क्यों रही है सरकार ये एक्शन क्यों नहीं ले पा रही है ये हम लोग तो ये क्या चक्कर है मालूम नहीं मतलब इंडिया की ये सेंटर भी बीजेपी का सरकार है और इससे भी बीजेपी का सरकार है दोनों एक ही सरकार है वहाँ सेंटर से मणिपुर से क्या बताए ये मालूम नहीं है कम से कम वो ये मणिपुर का अभी सिचुएशन असर करने के लिए वो इसलिए ने देखेंगे तो हल्का हो जाएगा तो सेंटर ने क्या बताए ये मालूम नहीं है इसी वजह से मेरा ख्याल से होगा दूसरा आखिरी सवाल सुनने में आया मोरे का एसडीपीओ जो है वो किसी मिलिटियन संगठन की द्वारा एटैक से वो उसकी मृत्यु हो गई है उस पर आपका क्या राय है मतलब हमारे गम में ने उसका क्या अभी तक क्योंकि यहाँ पे काम नहीं किया है 
क्या जबरदस्ती से काम करेगा तो पंद्रह दिन से एक महीने से खत्म हो सकता है ये लड़ाई ये लड़ाई से खत्म करने के लिए स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ने क्यों नहीं किया है ये क्वेश्चन नेबल है इसलिए हम लोग ने भी बार बार बताए कौन से बताए मणिपुर लंगाक से बताए वो कम से कम आप लोग ने काम करेगा तो खत्म हो सकता है क्यों नहीं काम खत्म नहीं कर रहा है ये कहा है वही है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू दिस इज मुबसर आजी रिपोर्टिंग फॉर हॉनविल टीवी फ्रॉम नेपाल After several opposition leaders shared screenshots of Apple alerts on their iPhones regarding state sponsored attacks Union Electronics and Information Technology Minister Ashwini Vaishnav on Tuesday said that the government will investigate to get to the bottom of these notifications He however called the opposition leaders as compulsive critics and said they do not have any major issue referring to Apple's clarification after the alerts Vaishnav said From the mail sent from App Apple it can be understood that they have no clear information they have sent alerts on the basis of an estimate which is vague Abhi kuch honorable MPs aur kuch kai anya citizens ne jo mudda uthaya hai ki unke paas Apple se ek alert aaya hai uske bare mein मैं आपको क्लियरली कहना चाहता हूं कि सरकार इस मुद्दे पर बहुत कंसर्न्ड है और इस मुद्दे के तह तक जाएंगे हमने इसमें इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑर्डर कर दिया है ऑलरेडी और इन्वेस्टिगेशन करके तह तक जाएंगे मैं साथियों आपके सामने एक और विषय रखना चाहूंगा इस देश में कुछ हमारे कंपल्सिव क्रिटिक्स हैं जिनको आदत लग गई है कोई भी मुद्दा हो जब नींद खुले तब उठ के क्रिटिसाइज करो ये लोग देश की उन्नति को देश की प्रगति को देख नहीं सकते पहचा नहीं सकते क्योंकि इनके परिवार ने जब देश में राज किया तब उन्होंने केवल और केवल एक ही लक्ष्य के साथ काम किया कि कैसे अपने परिवार का पेट भरे कैसे अपने परिवार का पोषण करें देश की चिंता इन्हें बिल्कुल नहीं थी ये ऐसे लोग हैं जो आज एप्पल ने एडवाइजरी जारी की है 150 देशों में इन्होंने एडवाइजरी जारी की है 150 देशों में एडवाइजरी जारी की है अगर आप एप्पल के मेल का क्लियर देखेंगे बहुत क्लियर है कहीं पर कोई उनके पास जानकारी नहीं है क्लियर वो केवल एक हाइपोथेटिकल या फिर केवल एक एस्टिमेट के बेसिस पे लोगों को उन्होंने ये अलर्ट भेजा है ये वेग है और आप सब जानते हैं कि एप्पल खुद क्लेम करता है उनका सिस्टम उनका इंक्रिप्शन सिस्टम जिस तरह का है उसके बारे में एप्पल खुद क्लेम करता है कि कोई उसको हैक नहीं कर सकता Protection Society Mission Vatsiala scheme is a plan to help achieve goals related to development and protection of children that are in line with the sustainable development goals. It focuses on child rights, raising awareness and strengthening the juvenile justice care and protection system. It is funded by the central and state governments in a 60-40 ratio with 90-10 ratio for northeastern states and two Himalayan states. It also encourages individuals or organizations to sponsor a child or group of children. The scheme is implemented as a centrally sponsored scheme in partnership with state governments and UT administrations to support the states and UTs in universalizing access and improving quality of services across the country. 
The fund sharing pattern is in the ratio of 60-40 between centre and state and union territories with legislature respectively. will be settled as per the manifesto released by the party. He stated that the BJP will end development. Rijiju attacked the Congress saying it insulted the tribal people, making fun of headgears, dresses, language. Once election is over and if BJP comes to power or part of the government in Mizoram, then all concerns, all the important demands of the people of Mizoram will be settled, solved by our party and our government as per the manifesto which we had uh, launched, the election vision document, we will fulfill all. So the tribal culture, tribal customary laws, the tribal practices and tribal identity is the priority of the BJP government. Mizoram is a very unique state. It is safeguarded by the provisions of the Constitution and BJP will ensure that each and every provisions under the law is implemented. Mizoram has been uh, a peaceful state for some time now. In fact, Mizoram is one of the most peaceful states in our country and we have to continue with that. But at the same time, Mizoram people require uh, a solid support for the development of Mizoram and that will come from uh, central government under the leadership of Modi ji. The Congress party in the past had insulted the uh, tribal people. Uh, so Congress leaders made fun of our tribal headgears, our dresses, our languages. The Congress party and other people had insulted the uh, minorities and the Christians and the tribals repeatedly. Many a times in the past we have seen how Congress party had uh, insulted our states, uh, especially northeastern states. The senior Congress leader had said that Manipur is a, uh, Mizoram is a tiny insignificant state. Mizoram and Tripura was referred to as insignificant states by Congress leaders. In the past Congress people had repeatedly said that small states should speak less. This kind of insensitive remarks by the Congress party are very condemnable. Our party has given top priority to the northeastern region and the tribal people and tribal culture. We are the people who will ensure the northeastern region becomes a vibrant, developed economic region of our country. Prime Minister Modi ji is the first Prime Minister of India who has said that the border villages of our country are the first villages and they must be given top priority. Congress party and no other parties can come close to BJP. So they should not talk about anything which they have done otherwise in the past. They have insulted us. Now BJP party under Modi ji has created various uh, agencies and bodies to protect northeastern people. We have provided special um, uh, seats, recruitment for northeastern people in Delhi police. The northeastern people are living in various parts of the country. Their welfare, safety are the concern which we are addressing. No party can do it. Now, BJP is the only party which will secure and which will provide full proof protection to the people of northeastern region, especially the tribal people. Moving on to the next news. Union Minister of State Rajiv Chandra Shekhar has been booked for allegedly making statements that promote enmity between different groups. Police say it on Tuesday. The Kerala police registered the FIR on its own in connection with the minister's recent statement on social media regarding the Kochi blast and a Hamas leader's virtual address at an event organized by an Islamist group in Malapuram district of the state recently. Chandra Shekhar had put up posts on X, criticizing Kerala CM Pinayari Vijayan. BJP leader Shehzad Punawala reacting to this said, Today Pinayari Vijayan, government has crossed all levels in name of vote bank politics. They take no action 
The organizers of the rally, which was held in support of Hamas, where a radical element, Khaled Marshall, who speaks about global jihad, is invited and allowed to spew venom. On the other hand, Rajiv Chandra Shekhar, a union minister, is booked in a false case. Vote bank ki aisi pyaas, pyaara lage inko Hamas. Today, Pinaray Vijayan government has crossed all levels in the name of vote bank politics, putting vote bank ki rajniti above rashtraniti. On the one hand, they take no action against the organizers of the rally which was held in support of Hamas, where a radical element, Khalid Mashal, who speaks about global jihad, is invited and allowed to spew venom in the land of Kerala. On the other hand, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, a union minister, is booked with a false case. This is not the first time Kerala government under the left has exhibited such tendencies. They give a free run to radicals like PFI, other radicals who perpetrate Islamist jihad. On the other hand, they are quick to act against nationalists. We remember how slowly they acted against the PFI chief, Omar Salam, to remove him from the government job. We know how time and again they have come and given cover fire to such Islamic jihadists. We also know how in the Elathur train attack case, first they declared it as a case of a person mentally unstable, only later on they had to acknowledge that the person, Shah Rukh Saifi, was a radicalized element who had watched Zakir Naik videos and had got radicalized. Time and again they whitewashed the crimes of Islamist jihadists and they penalized nationalists with false cases. This is only being done in the name of vote bank politics. And it is not just the left. The left, of course, eulogizes Hamas, whether it's Katie Jalil, whether it's Shailaja being made to delete her post, which called Hamas a terrorist organization, whether it is other leaders of the left, including M.A. Baby, who have, in a sense, justified the actions of Hamas, or whether it is the Congress party and its ally, the IUML. All of them indulge in this kind of radical behavior and support such kind of radical elements for the sake of vote bank politics. These are the same bunch, this Indy alliance, that has legitimized and justified terrorists and terror organizations in the name of vote bank politics. They find Yaqub Memon, Afzal Guru to be innocent and they go and start crying for them. They cry for the Bartla House and counter terrorists. But when it comes to nationalists, they are quick at booking them and filing false cases against them. The person accused in the Kerala blast case, Dominic Martin, has been charged under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and Explosive Substances Act. Speaking to ANI, Police Commissioner A. Akbar said Dominic Martin's arrest was recorded at 7 p.m. and that he will be produced in court within the stipulated time. He has been charged under sections of Explosion, Substances Act and UAPA and as of now, the police are convinced that this is a single man's act. Nonetheless, the authorities are looking into more details, the official said. Dominic Martin surrendered after claiming responsibility for carrying multiple blasts in Ernakulam district of the state during a religious prayer event a day ago at the Zamra International Convention Center in Kalamasiri, where over 2,000 followers of Jehovah's Witness, a Christian sector, had gathered for a prayer meeting on Sunday. Multiple explosions took place at a prayer meeting of Jehovah's Witness in the Kalamasiri area of Kochi at around 9 Sunday. Meanwhile, the death toll in the twin blast at Zamra International Convention and Exhibition Center rose to 3 after a 12-year-old girl identified as Libina from Malayatur succumbed to her injuries in the early hours of Monday. A man identified as Dominic Martin posted a video on Facebook later on Sunday claiming responsibility for the attacks. That is all we have for this bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornreel TV.